Hi there everyone, welcome back again to Engineering Pritam. In this video, we are going to dive into something which is crucial when we work with Arduino, the libraries. I will explain you what libraries are and why they are super helpful. And then I will also show you one such use case or example where we will use library. And for that, I already have got this Arduino board here and specifically this is Arduino Uno and then I'm gonna also utilize this very basic servo motor okay so uh, let's first of all understand what are Arduino libraries so if you have worked with Arduino before you might have came across the term library so what exactly a library in Arduino well, think of library as a pre-written code that saves you ton of time instead of writing complex code from scratch to control component, for example, this servo motor or even handling complex tasks. Libraries contain functions that are already built, tested and optimized. For example, if you want to control a sensor or a motor or even an LCD display, you do not need to figure out the low level communication with these devices. In short, libraries are like packages or Arduino assistant ready to help with pre-built code for specific tasks or for external component. Library also help reduce errors because they are written by experienced developers and the Arduino community. So you do not need to worry as you are working with a reliable code. All right, now you know that what libraries are. Let's see how to actually use one. And today we're going to control this servo motor using a library. This will make the job much simpler and faster. Okay, so for that, I'm gonna first of all take you to Arduino IDE screen so that we can install library related to this servo and can quickly get started. Okay, so now here you can see my computer screen and let me quickly run or open this Arduino IDE. And here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to file and then new sketch. And now, here, I need to choose my board and here you can see it is already showing me Arduino Uno. Um, and then I will also recommend you to connect your board so that we can also upload code to it. Okay, so now I have connected my Arduino board and if I go here in tools, port, um, here also we can see COM port 6 is already detected and from board manager uh, you can select your respective board so if in case you are not using Arduino board so here is the place where you can select your board so after you connecting your board first thing first here let me install the servo library and the good thing here is that this particular library is built into Arduino IDE so you do not need to manually download it simply what we need to do here is we need to go to sketch and then include library and then from here I'm gonna include this servo library so after doing here you can see we already have started calling it here now let's talk about our next okay let's now connect our servo motor to our Arduino board for that here you can see I already have got this servo motor and then um, this Arduino board so what I'm gonna do here is um, I will not be directly connecting this servo motor to this one um, since it also have got this female uh, connector because the Arduino board also have got this female socket and then this uh, servo motor also have got this female socket. Instead, I'm going to use this male to male jumper wire to connect both Arduino board and then this servo motor. Okay, so in terms of connection, um, if I talk about this servo motor here, this is a typical servo motor that comes with uh, these three color where the brown represent, this one is brown, which represent the ground. Then the red, which is in between, represent the power or VCC. And then this third one um, here, this one uh, control or represent the signal. And since um, I'm going to utilize a digital pin here, so the signal that we're going to receive will be digital signal. 
So here is the Arduino board. And then what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna utilize digital pin nine. So I'm gonna connect here digital pin nine. As you can see here, I have connected this one with digital pin nine. And then um, here you can see I have connected this blue wire with ground pin and this green wire with 5 volt. So in this way, I have connected all these jumper wires. And now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to connect this jumper wire to this servo motor. And as you can see, the violet wire is actually my signal wire, uh, which I have connected to digital pin 9. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to connect this violet wire to signal wire of the servo motor which, which is yellow and then the green here represent 5 volt so I'm gonna connect that to the red one and the last one is my ground which is uh, represented by blue so in this way guys uh, we have completed this whole connection okay which is I would say very super simple example of how we can utilize library so all connections we have completed here now the next thing here what we're going to do is we're going to write a code so let's again go back to the computer screen and not to worry guys i'm going to also provide you this code in the description of this video so that if you also would like to try by yourself you can also try it okay so let me actually delete all these codes which were written here so first of all, what I'm going to do here is um, I'm going to include this library, which is already included as servo.h. Now let's create an object here. For example, um, let's create servo as my servo. So here we have created a servo object and I'm calling that as my servo, which are we going to use to control servo motor? Now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to create a void setup function and then with the help of that function I'm going to attach the servo to pin 9 by writing void setup and then my servo dot attach to pin 9 okay and in this way we have attached this object called my servo to pin 9 okay now what we're going to do is we're going to call a loop function so again, just like void setup, we're going to write void loop and then um, braces. Now uh, let's also start curly braces. And here we're going to write object value here. So I'm going to say my servo, which was our object that we have created above. And then I'm going to say dot write and then the value. So I'm going to say zero. Okay. Now let's add semicolon here so this will basically move the servo to zero degree now add a delay let's say i'm gonna add a delay here of um, 500 milliseconds and again i'm gonna add colon here and let's add another line which uh, will move the servo motor from zero degree to let's say 90 degree so i'm gonna say servo again my servo and then i'm gonna say right and then um 90 degree now again i'm gonna add colon here and then i'm gonna place another delay here so let's add this delay of again um 500 millisecond then the last one is uh, again my servo so basically i'm specifying the positioning of the servo and then uh, i'm going to only utilize the library here the servo library which going to dramatically reduce the amount of code that is required to build this application okay so i'm gonna say delay again um 500 and then again colon that will again wait for half second okay now after writing this code let's upload this code to our arduino board and let me quickly do that by clicking here on upload and seems like uh, we are facing some issue uh, which is delay was not declared in this scope and here i guess we have committed this mistake now i think it should be fine and let's again click here on upload and there we go now again let me take you back to my uh, screen 
and here we go here you can see based on the code that we have set here it is behaving like that the servo motor so there is a delay of half second before it is making um, you know all these steps so that's how guys we can utilize these library function to make our life easy i hope guys you find this video helpful and informational if you want to follow our whole complete arduino series then do check out the link that i already have added in the description of this video and also i would recommend you to consider subscribing to engine pritham as we keep on bringing videos and tutorials related to several engineering topics and I will catch you soon with one such another video. Till then, you take care and bye-bye.